All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to use our basketball circuit template to make our basketball circuit. Uh, if you don't have this template, you can always follow along and recreate the lines on a blank sheet of paper. This template is just there to um, make it a little bit easier. All right, so first thing we're going to do is go over our materials that we're going to need. First, we're going to need a buzzer. Either the larger or the smaller one will work, but uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to be using the smaller one. Next, we're going to need, of course, some copper tape to, uh, to form our circuit. And last but not least, we're going to need a coin cell battery. These, this is the heart of this, um, this template. And these are all we need in terms of setting up the circuit. But some other tools to have nearby and materials to have on hand that will definitely help are some scissors, a pencil, some tacky material, definitely always helps to have that on hand, and last but not least, some scotch tape. Oh, and how could I possibly forget? We're also going to be using some aluminum foil. Okay, so our first step in setting up this circuit is to lay down some copper tape alongside along these black lines over here. Okay, so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do right now. And it's okay if your your lines aren't as straight as mine. The idea here is to just get it into these general areas so that we could attach our buzzer to our battery and we could also attach our paper clips over here. Okay, so our next step is we're going to want to cut using our scissors along these red lines. You're not going to want to go all the way to the edge of the paper. You're, you're going to want to stay on the red line. Now, it, it might be a little bit tricky to figure out where to start, and that's where our pencil comes in handy. Because with our pencil, we can poke a hole, and then that will make it a little bit easier to start off our cut. Again, I cut the red lines, but I didn't cut to the tips of the papers. So you're not going to want to cut to the edge of the paper, and you're not going to want to cut along these lines that are going uh, horizontally. Okay, so after we've cut our uh, red lines, our next step is to cut out our circle right here, the screen circle in the middle. And that is our circle. All right, after we've cut our circle, our next step is to take our circuit and along this middle line, we're going to bend. Okay, after we do that, let's unfold it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to bend these two sides in the opposite direction. Okay, so I'm bending them in the opposite direction. This part is popping out and these parts are going in. And our last step here is to take this middle part and fold it on this black line. And then doing the same here at the bottom. We should have a physical standing structure. And this is what it looks like from my angle. Okay, we're going to need two paper clips. So then what we do now is we take one paper clip and we attach it to one side of this circle. Now all we need to do is finish up this circuit and uh, attach our buzzer. So to do that, all we're going to need is to take our coin cell battery and our buzzer. And all I'm going to do now, and you could do this with either uh, scotch tape or copper tape, but I'm going to use scotch tape because that's a little bit easier. I'm going to put my coin cell battery so that the plus is facing up, just like it's showing in this in this template, in this guide. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the red wire of my buzzer and I'm going to take some scotch tape and I'm going to place it on top of my battery, keeping the wire there, and I'm going to just tape it down. 
it's a little bit tricky. What to do now is with my other black wire, I'm going to take a little bit of scotch tape and attach that directly onto my copper. I'm going to do the same thing over here with my copper and my paper clip. The reason for it is to make sure that we have a nice, nice connection there and to keep the, the paper clips from slipping around too much because uh, they do tend to move once we start to um, play basketball. So I'm just putting it right over the paper clip, pressing it down to make sure it's nice and tight and then going around to the other side. Okay, so some of you might be wondering why this isn't making any noise yet. And the reason for that is because we have an open circuit. There is a gap in our path and that's where our aluminum foil basketball comes into play. Once, our, once we shoot this aluminum foil basketball and it touches both paper clips, it will make the sound just like in a, you know, a buzzer beater. <laughs> okay, so thank you for joining me today. And this is our basketball circuit. Some things that we can work on are adding tape, adding more paper or, or cardboard to make this a little bit more sturdy. Another thing we can also do is make this same template using a cereal box. And that will definitely help keep this a little bit sturdier than it is right now. Okay, thank you again.